Hello and welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, day quarantine. I don't remember. I am really excited because I got some stuff in the mail from Amazon. So I think I'm gonna unbox that on camera and try it out. Been wanting this thing for a long time and my husband was finally like, you know what, just get it. Just, just go for it and get it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it though. So. I'm really excited so I will show you guys what that is in a second but I just wanted to throw on a little bit of makeup do my brows it was so cold this morning it's been pretty warm for the last few days I've had my AC on and then this morning I woke up and I was like in a full-on fetal position like freezing my dog was curled up next to me I really don't have much planned for the day it's kind of like it's really like doom and gloom outside so it's like I can't really go out and enjoy the sun at all probably just catch up on some shows and whatnot and just take a chill day. Yesterday was the first day that I told myself, okay, I wasn't going to do anything because every single day I've been like trying to do something to keep busy, whether that's like cleaning my house, vlogging, editing, just like doing something productive all day, just because I feel like if I'm not, I'm being lazy. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm just going to like lay on the couch and be lazy today. Just not do anything and not feel bad about it. Cause I've been feeling bad about it. If I like don't do something that only lasted for a few hours and then I ended up giving my dog a bath. So I was like, I needed to do something. Cause after a while I just get kind of antsy takes maximum concentration. I feel like my lashes are getting a lot fuller and longer lately. I feel like because I haven't been wearing as much makeup or like doing false lashes, my eyelashes have had a chance to like really grow out and fill out a lot more because I notice like the more that I wear false lashes, they're more like thin and sparse and I feel like they're looking pretty good lately and I'm very impressed. Okay, I'm just gonna throw some brow gel on my brows real quick i love wearing makeup but i'm really loving the fact that i'm like kind of like being able to take a break a little bit and lord knows my skin needs it right now because it has been breaking out like crazy just like small like breakouts here and there nothing like super drastic i think it's just a lot of it's just from like stress y'all i've been using this new it's not new, but it's the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And it's pretty much a dupe for the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. Wow, like it's, it's really good. And it's like a fraction of the cost. Okay, so I just finished my makeup off camera. My husband called me and we video chatted for a little bit. So I just went ahead and finished my eyebrows off camera, but I am starving, so let's head downstairs so I can make a snack. You guys, I got such a late start today because I didn't get out of bed because it was so cold outside. It's like 2 p.m. and I haven't ate anything yet, so I'm trying to figure out what I want. What I want to eat. <laughs> I don't know what I want to eat. Nothing sounds good, but I'm also like starving at the same time. Maybe I'll make some eggs and toast with avocado. Avocado? Yeah, because my eggs are gonna go bad soon, and so is my avocado. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay, let's make that. You guys, I also put my robe back on because I was trying to look all cute and everything with like my spaghetti strap, and then I was like, nah, it's cold. So, okay, I need my toaster. My old, old clunky toaster. I should probably upgrade this, but hey, it still works. And we're in a financial crisis right now. Work with what you got. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of toast in there, which I will wait until I start to cook the eggs. This toaster loves to burn my toast. We got toaster toasting problems. Is that a dad joke? Would that be considered a dad joke? Oh, my tummy's growling. Oh, oh, I left my water upstairs, dang it. Update you guys. A couple of vlogs ago, I made blueberry banana muffins with um, slurred almonds and they were, I don't think I ever tried them on camera, but they were really good. So I ate half the batch and then I froze the other half of the batch and I'm taking the frozen ones out now because I need some. They were so good. Highly recommend making them. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I feel like all of a sudden everyone's making like banana bread, like stuff with... Yes. 
as the star arrived. Yeah, you my little baby. Yeah, yeah, we don't get oh, careful oh, my hot star. Ow, your nails. Oh my gosh. Uh, you guys, I need to cut his nails so bad. But I don't have anything to cut them with. I don't know where to take him right now. But you need your nails trimmed. Yeah. Because you are stabbing mommy. Okay. Anyways, what I was saying is I feel like everybody has been making banana bread or like stuff with bananas in it when like during this whole quarantine thing just because I guess baking is fun. And yeah. I ain't mad about it. Okay, this pan is way, 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 way too hot. Also, update on my car because in my last vlog, my check engine light came on and I was talking to my brother, um, my oldest brother. He's like really good with cars and I was like freaking out because in high school growing up, I had like old pickup trucks and everything. So whenever like my car would break down, like it would always be like catastrophic. And I feel like I was always paying money to fix like my old beaten up, broken down trucks. And so now anytime that something's going on with my car, even if it's like something super small, I like freak out and I'm like, oh my God, my car is gonna explode. Like I freak out. And so when my check engine light came on, I was messaging him and I was like, yo, what do I do? Like, I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out, you know, my husband's gone and everything. Cause I know I need to get an oil change, but honestly, like if I'm not driving it, it can wait until this whole thing calms down. So he was basically like, no, it's fine. Just wait till everything blows over. Like. It'll be fine if it sits there, so I'm not worried about it. And I can also drive my husband's car too if I like need to go anywhere. And I know I'll need to go somewhere in like a few. I keep saying, <laughs> I keep saying in a few days I'll need to go and like get groceries, and then a few days pass, and I'm like in a few more days. Like I keep putting it off because I, I just really don't want to go out in public again. But I know I'll eventually need to get like eggs and milk and stuff like that. It's the point of that story was if I do need to go out, I can just use his car. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm just gonna like let it chill and once everything kind of calms down and it's like safe to be around other people again, I'll probably go get it looked at and take it into the shop to get fixed and get an oil change and everything, so. a little bit of sriracha just a tad oh that was a lot okay we're gonna put a lot on okay i got lunch it is so hard to film and cook at the same time like major kudos to all those youtubers out there that cook and film like <sighs> you guys look at my dog buddy what are you doing right now he's got a perfectly good bed over in the living room, in the corner over there. But he, <laughs> what are you doing, huh? He's been laying on these towels lately and I don't know why because it gets really wet and muddy outside as you guys can see. <laughs> um, and so I always have to wipe his paws off. I need to get like a mat or something to put out here, but it's just so hard because his paws get so muddy from being outside. And so I put a couple towels here, which I know is not. It's not aesthetically pleasing, so whatever. But anyways, he's been laying on these towels for some reason. I don't know why. And Bubs, I just gave you a bath yesterday. Am I gonna have to give you another bath? Did you just see his ears? <laughs> yeah. Stop laying on the towels, buddy. Gosh, you are just so handsome. Ugh. Okay guys, so the time has come. I'm so excited. I got these packages a couple days ago actually, which I was really surprised about because when I ordered this, it said that it was supposed to come today on Saturday and it came on Wednesday or Thursday. It came really, really fast, which I was surprised because I know the mail has been like really slow right now. So I was really surprised when it came so soon. So I was just letting it sit until I filmed this video. So let's get to it. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so Okay, you guys, so I ordered a steamer. 
Yes, you guys, I got a steam mop. I feel like I am genuinely adulting now because this is the kind of stuff that I get excited over. Sorry if y'all saw it something else, but <laughs> I have been so excited to get one of these. My husband and I have been looking at some for like months and months and months, but we kept putting it off for whatever reason. And I was like, no, I'll just wait. I'll keep like researching for one. And then finally I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to have one. Like I need a steam mop in my house right now because I have predominantly like all tile floors and then I have some wood floors upstairs and so it's like I feel like this is really crucial to be having in my home especially right now and I also just kind of wanted to switch from having like an actual ring mop and using like a chemical cleaner on the floors to something that I'm only using water especially just because I have pets in my home we don't have kids but I mean we have pets in our home and so if they were to like walk on a surface that hasn't been fully dried yet and look at their paws that could be you know potentially poisonous to them and so I just wanted something that was safer and healthier and cleaner for our home to be cleaning the floors with so yeah I'm so excited you guys oh my gosh We'll figure it out. <laughs> Looks like I have a cover. Okay. This looks like the handle. And the actual. Oh! Okay, so this is like the body of it. Oh, that's cool. It's got like three different steam settings, it looks like. And the bottom, which has another mop head on it. Okay, so I think I have to pull this latch open. Then I think that locks it in. Ooh, okay, okay, we got two pieces together. Do I just, I guess I just put the handle on and screw it together. Screw this bad boy in. I don't know what this is for though. Do I maybe just like put it, do I like set it in there once I'm done mopping? Is it like a little holder for it so it can sit? Oh, yes, okay. I, yeah, I think we just like put it in there when I'm done using it so it can like sit up straight. Huh, very nice. Dreams do come true, that's all I have to say. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep the floors real quick just so all like the dirt and everything is picked up and then we will give this bad boy a try. I'm just gonna plug this in real quick. I think they said that it'll beep and then you can click whichever one you want or you wait till it's glowing. Okay, so it is blinking right now, so I'll wait until it stops, and it should be like a solid glow. Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, so it's ready and warm, so I think I'm just gonna, like, I can start with the lowest setting, I guess. Oh, wait, or do I hit this one? I don't know. Okay, so. What? Y'all. Is it? Wait, it's steaming. Okay guys, so we are going to see if this thing works. I think you just like do it like a vacuum. Ooh, I definitely smell like the steam. Ooh, do you see that? Okay, wait, let's go over in the light. Maybe that'll be easier to see. Oh, y'all, this is so cool. I'm so nerding out right now, you guys. So cool. Okay, let's see if it'll clean up these footprints real quick from chance. Ah, <gasps> so cool. Y'all, I am really nerding out right now over this. This is so cool, oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna finish steaming um, all my floors real quick and then I will check back in with you guys for the final verdict. Okay guys, so final verdict, I just steam mopped all of my floors, my downstairs, my upstairs hallway, my bathroom and everything, and you guys. This was, like, I'm really happy that I, like, bought this. It's really good. For a second, it was kind of throwing me off because I'm so used to using, like, a ring mop and using, like, a chemical cleaner. I was like, okay, I'm not smelling anything. Like, I'm not, like, really, like, seeing anything. But, I mean, it's just water. And there's no streak marks whatsoever. Like, my floor doesn't feel sticky because I am known for putting way too much, like, of the liquid um, in my bucket and not having enough water. So, it's not sticky at all. I didn't notice, like, any streak marks whatsoever on my floors. I mean... My floors are kind of beat up, honestly, because I live in old housing, so there's scratches all over, but I didn't notice any streak marks, and you guys, I really, 
really like it. So I would highly recommend it. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested. I bought it off of Amazon. It came in like a day. I mean, obviously that depends on where you live, but it came super fast um, and I really, really like it. So I'll keep you guys posted on how it holds up because this is obviously my first time using it. So who knows what could happen after the second, third or fourth uh, try, but yeah, I really like it. Really like it. 10 out of 10, would buy again. Okay, I also just wanted to show you guys, I got something else off of Amazon that I have been wanting to get. I got some metal straws just because I've been drinking a lot of iced coffee lately and like smoothies and I have some rubber silicone ones that I've had for years that I really like, but they're kind of getting a little nasty and gross. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get myself some straws and this one had really good reviews on it, so. So yeah, it comes with a lot of straws. How many straws does it come with? 10, eight, no. Oh, it comes with a set of 12. So there's some bendy ones, there's some tall and short ones, um, and some straight ones too. And it comes with a cleaner pipe as well. So yeah, I got some of these for my coffee. So I am really excited, no more dirty straws. <laughs> okay guys, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Um, Y'all, I am so obsessed with that steam mop. I cannot wait to use it again. So I'll let you guys know. Um, how it works in the future and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me um, let me know you stopped by don't forget to subscribe I feel so weird asking people that like asking people to subscribe I always do it in my makeup videos but in vlogs sometimes I feel weird about it I don't know anyways I think I'm just gonna chill and hang out with Chance he's giving me the stink eye over in the corner right now what what are you giving me the look for come here come here come say bye to the vlog come say bye to the vlog <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.